Hi everyone, I hope you're all well and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2019 Battle Series. We are finally here in the Ultra Series kicking off today after a little break on the channel yesterday. So we are into the Ultra Series like I say, I cannot wait to get into this one and we put out a poll about a week ago onto the channel asking you guys what you'd like to see played for us kicking off into the Ultra Series today and thank you so much to each and every one of you that voted and chose the team that we are featuring today which will be on your screen right now will be Ultra Necrozma and Xerneas so it's going to be a lot of fun we're going to play this team over the next couple of weeks we may make tweaks along the way but as always the team is down in the description below there'll be a roll paste and a poker paste for you guys to check out use take away and if you do make sure to let me know in the comment section how you find this team and if you've got any variations of it as well that you've been playing around with it would be really nice to hear from you all so kicking into today we're going to use this Team. Like I say, we've got lots of setup around the Duskman Necrozma, which turns into the Ultra Necrozma. Obviously, it's got the Ultra Necrozma Z item there. We've got the Xerneas. We know what Xerneas does, Geomancy Booster. But we need a lot of support around these Pokemon. We've got the Calm Mind on the Ultra Necrozma as well, just to give it a bit more power and oomph when we're using it in matches. You've got the support options all around it with the Incineroar. We've got Mega Kangaskhan now that we've got Megas back into this format. Then the Amoongus gives us something to utilize in Trick Room if that is going to be what my opponent goes for. Then the Tapu Fini there, but we've got Psych Up on Tapu Fini on this one. I think it's quite a nice little niche move to use there that we can utilize alongside the Xerneas. We've got Moonblast on it as well, an Icy Wind for that speed control support and heal pulse just to help out the whole team and make sure that we're not getting too much damage too quickly and we've got a way to kind of come back in some really tight situations so team should be really nice i'm looking forward to it. can't wait i'm actually up at like five o'clock this morning because obviously with how the the ladder reset it was super late so i thought I don't want to miss an episode today, let's get up early, so I'm a little bit sleepy, so I hope it doesn't come across too bad on the episode today, but we'll jump into it straight away right now, because you don't want to hear about that, but as always, if you enjoy this sort of content, please make sure to leave a like on the video, do subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content, and leave your comments in the comment section below, because there's nothing more than I love than hearing comments from you guys. So, crack the music on, I guess we better choose a tune, what are we going to go with? What can we lock in Rainbow Rocket? We've got Natsum. Is it Natsum? Natsum is our first opponent, so let's hop into team preview. So we're going up against our first opponent today, playing a team of Rayquaza, Kyogre, Serena, Tapakoko, Suicune, and Ferrothorn. So we've got that Rayoga build here. It's going to be Mega Rayquaza and then the Primal Kyogre. It's going to be a lot of fun to kind of see these Pokemon for the first time on the channel this season. We've got the Serena support there to preventing any sort of fake out support from our end which is a little bit difficult for us to deal with because we've got a lot of fake out support in the Incineroar and the Mega Kangaskhan there. Tapu Koko going to be a bit threatening especially for an Ultra Necrozma because it has got access to that Fairy MZ now that can really deal a lot of damage to Ultra Necrozma once we do Ultra Burst. Then you've got the Suicune for speed control I would say there with the Tailwind. It's got access to Icy Wind Raw as well, something else that we need to be considering going into this match. And then the Ferrothorn which is going to be my opponent's kind of Trick Room countermeasure. So what are we going to do to lead up against this? Uh, I do want Intimidate, and Incineroar would be decent. Um, I think we probably do need to bring Incineroar. It's just dealing with that Kyogre that is a bit of an issue. Um, and I may want to go down the route of Kangaskhan, but I think we'll go Incineroar for sure. Um, do we bring Ultra Necrozma? Yeah, I think we might want to bring that up front. Um, I want Tapu Fini just as a switch in and probably Xerneas as well so that's what we'll go with to kick us off in this first one today oh this is quite a tough matchup to be honest and um, th there's like quite a few aspects of this team that I just don't like facing and it's a nice build for my opponent as well I think the Serena really supports a lot of the team quite well and especially against this sort of archetype that we're playing where we we're relying on that setup and we need our, fit, our fake out support next to it where we're kind of denied that the whole time. We are going to see the Tapu, uh, the Kyogre and the Serena come out for my opponent. So straight away we cannot take advantage of the um, fake out. But interestingly enough, looks like this Kyogre might. Is this Kyogre not Primal Kyogre? I, I would have thought it would have Primal reverted by now, yeah. 
It's Scarfed Kyogre. We're not even seeing a Primal Kyogre in our first Ultra Series. Okay, right, well we can't keep uh, Incineroar in, so what I'm going to do is just switch out to Tapu Fini, and I'm actually just going to protect Necrozma this turn. The problem with doing this is if we see a faint, and then we lose Ultra Necrozma straight away, which isn't good. So it's a little bit risky doing this, but hopefully we can get away with it. Hopefully we just see a helping hand, potentially. There we go. That's alright. It's all alright. And we'll see. Uh, water Spout. It's still going to do a lot of damage to the Finny, even though we do resist it. There's the Water Spout. But we do protect. And the nice thing about Ultra Necrozma is, when we do Primal Vert, we will be um, Pod Dragon, so we do resist that Water Spout. Which does help us out a lot. A Tapu Finny, though. Whew, taking so much damage. Um, right. We could heal Pulse. Could icy wind as well. Um, I do feel like we need to target the Kyogre down there rather than the Serena. Even though I'm kind of more inclined to target that Serena down here. Um, right, let's go. Ah, we need to start getting damage onto the Serena. Um, no, we're not gonna go. We're gonna go heal pulse because I feel like we take a ton of damage with Necrozma here. We don't want it in too bad of a shape, so we will Ultra Burst. And we will go for that Photon Geyser into the Kyogre here. And try and just get as much damage onto it as possible. The Photon Geyser should do a decent amount of damage. First time seeing Ultra Burst as well. It's super cool. <laughs> here we go. Ultra Necrozma. And there's the Helping Hand again. Water Spout. We should take a Helping Hand Water Spout, right? I'm hoping. Then he'll just hang on, I would imagine. <sighs> oh, oh man, that is disgusting, that damage, isn't it? But now the next turn, at least we get the, the Photon guys are off. We'll be able to heal Pulse ourselves as well. And um, that Water Spout is not going to be doing as much damage going into this next turn. We'll be able to pick up the Kale onto the Kyogre as well. This next turn, wow. <clears throat> does a lot of damage <clears throat> okay so Kyogre in range this next turn I think we need to heal pulse again question is though does my opponent because we could potentially Z move the Serena here because I think the Kyogre probably switches out and if we look at what my opponent's got on the back they don't really have a great switch in to the Photon Geyser to be honest uh, with the Kyogre um, I'm kind of inclined to go Icy Wind and Z-Move into that Serena, if I'm completely honest, like the Burns of Sky. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's just get rid of the Serena. As soon as that's gone, yeah, the Kyogre is going to switch out, which is fine. Ferrothorn going to come in. So we picked the right slot to do, um, and I probably have to cut the Z-Move. I'm just thinking now, because it's probably going to be copyrighted. So we'll come right back, which is a bit unfortunate. Man, that is a crazy long Z-Move animation. <laughs> and I'm sad that we're not able to feature it, really. But we do pick up the knockout on Serena, because it's just ridiculously powerful. But it's a really nice animation. Um, it is very long, though. So it's one of them. It's definitely one of those ones that you put on the list of, I've seen it once. Now I don't really need to see it a gazillion other times. But it's very cool. Very cool indeed. It's a shame that we can't put it up on the channel, really. But I'm sure there's animations of it somewhere that you guys can go and see. And you'll be playing the game yourself. So, we do see the Tapu Koko now hit the field. Um, the rain is obviously still up because it wasn't Primal Kyogre. I think what we'll do is switch in Incineroar. Um, and we will... Can we just protect Necrozma here? Yeah, let's just protect. You don't want to take a Dazzling Gleam, which is likely to come out from the Tapu Koko, especially with the Ferrothorn on the field. You think you've got a way to, to snipe both of my Pokemon right now. And if we can change the terrain as well, it will help us out a little bit later on in the battle just against this Tapu Koko. We also get an Intimidate onto that Ferrothorn, which is really quite important for later on if it does stay in. But it's not. It is just going to switch straight out for that Kyogre coming back onto the field. At least we know we don't have the Rayquaza to deal with. 
in this match. So we'll just protect the cross mat. Let's see what the type of Coco's going for. The Z move. I wonder if it is the Ferranium. Yeah. <coughs> Twinkle tackle. It's probably going to do a decent amount of damage. The thing is there we had an opportunity to go for an icy wind. Um, hopefully we take this. I'm hoping we take it. We're on about 50% health. So we should... Yeah, yeah, okay, that's fine. Right, I think we need to maneuver ourselves into a position where we can get our Xerneas in and set up. Um, so Cosmo's going to take a dozen gleam right now. I, I feel that's, that's what's going to happen. Um, do we switch into... Hmm... Oh, I think I might want to switch it into Tapu Fini, but then I want Tapu Fini switching into Incineroar the next turn. So we could try, we could just sack, I think, yeah, we'll just sack Necrozma. We'll try and get an Earth Power into this type of Coco. I doubt we'll get it, because I feel like we're probably going to get Dazzling Gleamed. Yeah. Okay. Now I could have faked out Tapu Koko there, but then then we probably lose Incineroar, and I feel Incineroar is a lot more important to us right now than the the Ultra Necrozma, just for that Ferrothorn in the back that can cause us a lot of issues. Right, I'm going to switch in Xerneas. And I think what I'll do is switch... Incineral out to Tapu Fini. Because I think if we can get boosted up with Zen and have Incineral next to it, that that should be a bold position that can kind of win us this game. So we'll try and maneuver it and engineer it, but it's not gonna be super easy for us to do. So getting this terrain change, it's just whether the Coco switches out now to Ferrothorn. That's a big question. But I mean I kind of would like to lose Finny in this situation rather than anything else. Let's see what my opponent goes for. Just the Origin Pulse. So there we go. Should do. Yeah, it's not too bad. And if we see a Thunderbolt, taunt. Okay. Right. Um, I think we just Icy Wind. Oh, we could Heal Pulse. Uh, Icy Wind's probably better. And then a Moon Blast into the Kyogre. Oh, it's going to be Ferrothorn coming out. Okay. We'll probably see another Taunt from the Coco, although it might just target down into the... Yeah, there we go. So this isn't too bad at all, because it means we do get the, the Incineral and we've got access to the Fake Out this next turn. This would have been the turn to j see though, really. And not get baited, baited in by the taunt. And the rain coming back to the fuel for the Kyogre. We got a little bit of damage onto that Ferrothorn. I mean, okay, that's a crit. A big bit of damage onto the Ferrothorn. And we do see it has got the leftovers there. Problem is, we want a Geomancy. I think we take. I think we take um, a minus one Jarabor with Azonius. We. I mean, the one thing we can guarantee is that we can fake out Kyogre and probably Dazzling Gleam here, um, or just Moonblast it, double into it. Because Ferrothorn's not going to be able to knock out. Mm, or do we just take this opportunity to Geomancy? That's the question. That is the question. I think we just go Moonblast, Fake Out into Kyogre. And take less damage from the, the Gyro Ball this turn. Because Incineroar will be able to just deal with the, the Ferrothorn by itself. And as long as we're not in taking it. 
Crit! Why? <laughs> of all things, come on. This is not fair. But, Pokemon is not fair. That's really, that's really, really unfortunate for us there. Um, and Incineroar still got his berry. Uh, that's really frustrating. Uh, especially with the rain up as well. Um, I'm gonna just snarl. Ferrothorn probably goes for each seed here. We still got a berry with our Incineroar. We need to try and stall out this rain to deal with the type of Coco. <sighs> Can we do it? Come on, cat. Let's do this. There's a leech seed. Oh, we do avoid. That's good for us, I guess. Because it's only going to take one flare blitz to deal with that first one. It's just about whether or not we can deal with the type of Coco timely enough. Two turns of rain left. Hmm. Right, let's think. Uh, we snarl again. Snarl again. Let's snarl again. The volt switch. Let's see what this is doing. How much? Okay, not so much. So top of Coco, not really a problem here, but it's the only thing that's really going to threaten us, damage-wise. There's a leech seed. It does hit this time. Should just proc a berry. Yeah. Okay. Now I wonder if we can do this. I don't know if we're going to be able to. I don't know if we're going to be able to. Really, it's going to be very difficult to do. Um. I want to hit that Ferrothorn out of the rain. To be honest, I could just snarl again. I think just get this type of Coco down even more. Attack wise, there's a Volt Switch. What's it doing? 28 we're on. So just over 28, so yeah. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it, to be honest. Because the next turn, the first one probably protects. We need the Flare Blitz to take down the Coco. Oh, it's Jarrah Ball on as well. Just wanting damage onto us. It's not doing that much though. Rain stops. So this turn is where the Ferrothorn, I think, has to protect. Oh, it's gonna be. It's gonna. Yeah, we probably go down to recoil. I'd imagine. Um, we need the flare blitz to actually take down the coco. But if we do that, I think we probably lose too much recoil, and the leech seed takes us down anyway. That crit on Xerneas is terrible. Really terrible. Ah, <sighs> never mind. Never mind. We can't. We can't control the RNG. Oh, well, the Ferrothorn's not actually protecting, so we definitely lose here. Yeah, I mean that's a one player my opponent could go for, but the the crit. Oh, we just missed the kill. I'm going down to recall damage. So good game to my opponent. That's real a real shame for us to kick off with today because I think we could have won that, but at the same time, we did have opportunities where we could have made slightly different plays. I think. Okay, let's just move on and try this again. But realistically, that Jarrah Ball should have done minus one without the Geomancy boost. I would say just about 50-60%. So it would put us in a decent position to have a really good end game to deal with the Coco. And we saw there, it's more of a support Coco, so it didn't really have Thunderbolt or anything like that. Dazzling Gleam and Taunt as well. So it wasn't really going to be hitting or picking up the knockout onto the Xerneas. Come on, let's get some good music. Ah, there we go. Okay. So we've got our next opponent. Let's go into team preview. So we're going up against Whimsicott, Tapu Lele, Rayquaza, um, Dawnwings Necrozma, which is going to be probably Ultra Necrozma, Blaziken, and Naganadel. So, right, we've got Tailwind support from the Whimsicott and the Naganadel. You've got to say it's more Tailwind variant. This is a very fast team, so we need to have ways to kind of counteract this. We've got the Blaziken, which is probably going to be the Mega of the team. Does really well against the Mega Kangaskhan here as well, uh, with its speed boost ability. 
So what can we do to get around this? Because our only speed control is pretty much Xerneas with its Geomancy and then the Icy Wind support from Tapu Fini. But Tapu Fini doesn't do too bad here, to be honest. Um, and I think I'm probably going to lead Incineroar Tapu Fini here. Um, I don't know if I want to bring Kang and Xerneas Ultra Necrozma, I think, in the back. Yeah, let's do that. Although... Could Amoongus be decent, half decent here? Could be, but we'll not go with it. We'll just lock in with those four. And then see how my opponent approaches this. I think we've got to be a bit careful around that Nagandadel in um, particular. The Whimsicott's always going to be a bit of an, an issue to deal with, like it always is in these formats. But I'm confident, I'm confident, guys, that we can overcome this. The music selection today hasn't been on point, though. We've got the in-game music back. After such a long time where we've just been having a lot of Pokemon Battle Revolution music. So, I've not been able to click through on the, <laughs> on the music on the track sometimes. So, we've got a, a weird bunch. But I guess it's good because it gives us variety. That's what we like. Spice up. So, we've got Rayquaza. We've got um, Whimsicott coming out for my opponent. Which is decent for us because we've got Icy Wind support, Intimidate support. And also Fake Out support going into this first turn. Uh, it's likely that we see a Whimsicott. Well, probably just a double protect here, to be honest. That's what I would imagine. Um, I'm going to just switch out into Ultra Necrozma. And I'm going to go for an Icy Wind with Tapu Fini. It's just nice to keep that Intimidate in the back, especially against Rayquaza. Because even though it is switching out, we can take advantage of it the next turn. Uh, later on in the game with the Intimidate. Especially if we've got Incineral um, in the back to bring it in and utilize that Intimidate. We do see the Tapulele switch in for the Rayquaza now, get its terrain up, expecting probably a fake out from us. There's a Tailwind from that Tapu. Tapu. It's not even a Tapu, it's a Tapu Wimmy. That's what it is, but it's a Whimsicott. Guys, it's like 5 in the morning. It's, well, it's after 5 now, but I'm, s <laughs> I'm so sleepy. So sleepy. Alright, we do get the. Um, Oh, eject button. Hmm, that's quite a nice little tech there on Tapu Lele. But we do see the Tailwind set up from the Whimsicott. No Cosmo going to come in for my opponent. We've got quite a nice switch in there to Incineroar right now anyway. Um, and I think we'll probably do that because we don't want to keep our Duskmane out on the field in front of this Duskmane. Uh, so we will just go for another Icy Wind. We've got some nice chip damage onto that Whimsicott already. And Incineroar can come back onto the field. It's gonna res it's a, this the synergy there is obvious. It's really nice. It's gonna protect us from what this Dawn Wings can throw at us, like a Moon Guys Beam or something like that. It's probably gonna Ultra Burst now. Here we go. Bright light on the opposing side of the field. Here we go. Ultra Necrozma bursting. Okay, helping hand. No, it's gonna be into Finny. <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna nuke Finny. Oh no, it's not. I don't, well, maybe. Helping hand support though. It's pretty scary. Okay, but Incineroar's like, nah. Take that all day. Oh, we missed the alternate Cosma. That's not what we want. Ah, because we've got to worry about a helping hand. Earth power as well from the Snocrosma. Which is not ideal. Not ideal at all. Um, I think we'll snarl. And we'll go for Icy Wind again. Hmm. Probably going to lose our Intimidate support here. No? Alternate Cosmo just going to throw. Going to see Tapu Lele hit the field once again. Energy Ball. Wimmy is just full of surprises. But does a decent chunk of damage as well. Ugh! Tapu Finny! Come on! We need you to, to be on point today. We, we can't be dealing. This Whimsicott should be gone now and the Tailwind would have ended. But now it's got access to Tailwind once again. Because Finny is blind. Oh no, the Tailwind. We've got one more turn. Okay. <laughs> hey. Let's not, let's not panic too much yet. So I think what we'll do is we'll U-turn out onto Whimsicott. Uh, and we'll just go for another Icy Wind. Hopefully after that Snarl, a side Shock from the Tapu Lele. Shouldn't take down Tapu Fini. I'm hoping. 
but we just want to keep up this pressure with our icy wind support. There's a psychic. Okay, we should take this. Yeah, but we're not going to take the double, which is a little bit frustrating because it would just blow our berry proccing there. Um, we'll, we'll get the U-turn into the limit. Deny that speed control going forward. We can't really utilize our pick out support. We'll bring in Xerneas though. And then we can bring in, I think, Incineroar as well. We know what my opponent's got to deal with. So if we can get a Geomancy boost up here, we should be in a good a good place. Tailwind does pitter out finally for my opponent. And we'll bring in Incy. Rayquaza coming in. Okay. That's perfect. Perfecto. Okay, because we can just Geomancy fake out the Rayquaza. Because it's not attached to that flow, that pink lobby flow, then we can take it out because it's not protected by Tapu Lele. Tapu Lele, okay. It's Geo and fake out the ray. And I don't know what the Tapu Lele is going to be doing here. It's snarled. It's definitely taken an icy wind, I'm pretty sure. So. Ooh, gonna see Mega Rayquaza hit the field. Here we go. Gonna Mega Evolve Mega Rayquaza. So cool, it's so good. I'm gonna see that Delta Stream activate. Mysterious Air come to the field. But I'm sorry, it's not really gonna be enough to help you out. I don't think now. Letting us get the Geomancy off kind of really punishes my opponent. I mean, what are we gonna see the Tapalele do? That's the question. Look at these mysterious air. It's crazy. The animation of that seems way more obvious than it, it did <clears throat> in the previous generation of games. Psychic. Yeah. I mean, we just take that so well. And the, the terrain disappears now. I mean, we can just Dazzling Gleam. Um, and we will just U-turn out onto the, the Lele. Because we want to try and preserve Incineroar for that Intimidate in case. Ah, and we just see a forfeit there. So, we do manage to take our second game after a first game where we had a little bit of unfortunate RNG, which wasn't the best, but um, it's just one of them things. You know, we put ourselves in that position, so we've got to deal with it. But we'll come back stronger tomorrow. At least we're one on one at the minute. But the team's a lot of fun, um, and I'm looking forward to continuing on with it this week. So, I'll end it up there, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I, I didn't mention earlier, but because of just sleepy time, I think. But if you do enjoy this content, do make sure to, to leave a like on the video. Do subscribe to the channel and all that jazz. Um, and we'll be back for more a School of Hard Knocks. There's my, my normal alarm going off for normal time wake up. Um, but yes, we'll be back with more School of Hard Knocks uh, battle series tomorrow. So thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great day. I will see you all on the next one. So until then, take care. Bye-bye.